My name is Mark Williams. I'm from uh, Gaithersburg, Maryland, right north of the Washington, D.C. area. <laughs> uh, I've skateboarded every single state of America, city to city, state to state. It took me about five to six, several different trips, waiting out the seasons and the hard winters on the East Coast, being home for the holidays with the family, and uh, just time framing everything right. Different reasons, different time frames, and just maintaining my living life, home, and traveling. I do kind of travel more than home. So I completed all the states with all those trips, not even consecutive, you know, breaking them down, going home in between trips. Two years, five months of documenting, right at 12,500 total skateboarding miles. And it was great because I ended in Alaska, last state to skate Alaska, uh, got to that 12,500 mile marker, and it was exactly like on the two year five months marker of uh, documenting, which was August 27th, because I started documenting March 27th, 2014, and that was last summer in 2016. So everything like was perfectly timed and just a beautiful milestone. End all the states, end my last state skate, get to that kind of mile marker. It was just perfect. It was awesome. So yeah, now I'm here in Australia. Man, I couldn't ask for any better. It's been great. I've always received the most support here in Australia rather than any other nation besides my own. Now that my skateboarding and my trips have started, and pursuing these dreams of distance and seeing the world, uh, then, you know, I picked Australia first because the most support that out of my nation. So I flew into where most of my support is and, uh, really good support of mine named Vanessa and yeah, she took me took me in, put me up for a whole week. Younger brother be skating. He's healing up from the injury. But they were still willing to take me to skate parks, film me, show me heat to the street spots downtown, in the surrounding mountains, went to the zoo, got to see all those animals, held a koala, like fed the kangaroos, all types of shit. It was an awesome experience. So then I started my Brizzy to Melbourne trip uh, May 16th on a Tuesday. And so far, I've gotten to Sydney. So yeah, I got to Bondi. Bondi! <laughs> Iconic, right? <laughs> Had to come here. And look, this fucking bowl is gnarly as fuck. I can't even skate that shit, but still. It took me three weeks and five days to get here, but taking about four days off, um, meaning three weeks and one day worth of skateboarding. And I even did the mileage. It was 448 miles I've skated so far. So I'm doing pretty good. Uh, usually I cover more distance quicker. So just to like give you a brief summary on how it's been here in Australia so far, I pushed myself hard as fuck the first week and I did go all out. I did all I possibly could. So it ended up being a total of 145 miles skated out of 259 travel because a couple times I had to skip the motorway expressway and then a few times uh, out of like a bad storm once and then another situation was like super rough ground and had to get to a town to end that night because the ground here has sucked. But the first week was the worst. So the first week was Brizzy to Whoopi. And that was when I did still try to go all out. But those 145 miles skated, I would say damn near half was having to actually walk because the ground was that rough. So it was like, it was all rough, but random patches of smooth. So when no cars were coming and I skate with traffic, I had to skate in the road past the white line to find the smooth spot because the shoulders were just absolutely too rough, unskatable practically, and just only walking. Then my second week uh, was whoopee to, to cups, and I had to slow down on that one because uh, places to stay. So. I left Whoopi Beach and got the cuffs, and that opened up like all these new doors. 
it was a 27k stretch of 16 mile stretch and I thought I was gonna keep going that night I got there at like 3 4 in the afternoon but everyone was so supportive and cuffs that I ended up sticking around because I got invited to two church dinners back to back nights and I got a hostel out of donation. And that second week slowed down for places to stay because Cuffs basically opened up all the new doors for the rest of the route. So the guy Mitch Barr that gave me the whole complete setup, he shouted me out. You know, he got people knowing me skateboarding down this route. And then um, I was only skating so far for the places to stay. Like the ratio ended up being like, I got put up like eight nights in a row out of the 13 nights in total. So like that was really good ratio. And now I'm up to something like 10 nights out of 18. So the ratio is still getting put up more than not getting put up. Then the, the third week was the same. So the second week ended in port. It was uh, uh, whoopee to port and then the third week was Port to Nui, and again, the third week I slowed down for places to stay, and I ended up needing two days off in Port. So really, in skate time, I made it from Port to Nui in five days worth of skating. And now currently, it's a Sunday, and tomorrow night will end my fourth complete week, so I will get on the road tomorrow. So wherever I end up on the road, is where I'll end my fourth week. So it'll be Nui to past Sydney, heading south. Um, but then again, I took two days off because I took one off in Wambler Bay, and now I'm taking a day off here in Sydney. So really five days worth of skating. But for my fourth week, I made it from Nui to uh, you know south of Sydney. So I'm still progressing and making progress, but yeah, I am going a little slower than normal. I go off of total faith and support, meaning like, just have no worries, worry free and live my life and live my dreams to the fullest and enjoy all these moments to the fullest. Because I've learned like, uh, dreams are made of memories made. So like, if you don't live what you're doing in the present to the fullest, then you're not enjoying it as much as you possibly could because you keep worrying, worrying about the future and what's ahead. So like you always have your goals set and you're working towards your goals, but with faith and hard work, all those goals are gonna get achieved just over time. So you have to start realizing that. That way you can live your present moments to the fullest and like live them, you know, to the most enjoyable. So it's just great how much I've learned throughout my journeys and my trips. Like, it, for me it happened in stages. I went from overcoming alcoholism, uh, getting closure from my nanny's passing, my last and closest grandma, I had to visit her grave site. And that was five and a half years later after her passing that I got that closure I needed. I missed the third opportunity to see her summer of 09. She passed away in uh, November of 09. So that third opportunity that I missed, it was actually the third time I had with her was spring 2015, five and a half years later, uh, April 2015, you know, visiting the great site and getting the closure I needed. Then, after I did all that, then that third step was overcoming that depression that I had for years. So, with those three steps, then came my fourth step to, um, finding that complete happiness, which was just great. Cause like, originally I thought it'd be my first big trip and that's why I picked such a big trip to do. 35 states, four month time period and skate as much as I possibly could. And I completed that whole time frame in all the states. But I didn't reach that goal of 8,000 miles as planned and as I set the goal to. I ended up skating right around 5,000 miles because day in and day out, average more like 60 miles than 80 miles. And then I needed more days off than I considered. So less skate days and more days off and a little bit less mileage on average. So then I didn't raise enough on my trip for my shop. 
So then I didn't know what else to do. I ended up raising what I spent. So I was right back to where I was. So I already had 35 states and the whole concept of me skateboarding all the states came from that because I was right back to where I was from the first trip. So then I planned the northern states because that was states that I didn't have in 35 states. Besides Louisiana being too far south on my first trip and then Kentucky being too much in the middle. So I picked the northern states first and I went from Detroit to Minneapolis and then I had to get back for a best friend's wedding and couldn't go any farther west in the northern states so then I did go and take buses from uh, where I was in Minneapolis all the way down to New Orleans, Louisiana so I could skate surrounding distance in the New Orleans area and then I skated Kentucky as a state going from Louisville to Lexington and then I waited out the whole winter season and then that's when it ended up being spring 2015 I picked up where I left off Minneapolis made it to Portland and then I went to Hawaii in the fall that next year and then picked up where I left off next summer for the last two states to skate Washington State so I went Portland Oregon to Seattle Washington and took a long route so I could go through a mountain and then I had to fly from Seattle to Anchorage so I could um, get Alaska as a state it was Anchorage to Fairbanks so then to keep all this going and still not having enough for my shop it's basically just like now it's all like I skate the world to be part of the skate world like literally so my end goal and dream is always going to be open up this skate shop pizza shop and the reason I use CRT for the middle name and Mark CRT Williams you can find me on Instagram or Facebook that way is because that's my company that I've had ongoing for about 10 11 years and it stands for certified respected talent and T is my middle initial so it just makes sense to use my company as my middle name so it's short for certified is certy so I've been known by CRT certified and certy so I feel like the best flow for my skate shop pizza shop will be Surtees, C-E-R-T-Y apostrophe S, skate shop pizza place. And then the theme of my skate shop pizza shop will be based off of trips, meaning timeline, fashion, where I started to wherever I end up, pictures, posts, miles, break down the hours, share all the good stories on how people help me. Everyone that's ever helped in any kind of way, even giving me water on the side of the road, that's helping like these people will have a story in my section in my shop and then they'll be in a chapter to my book because I release my book by the chapter that way I continue to live this lifestyle but I can get my stories out so chapter by chapter is another way that I can raise money and another way that I can skate the world and get my shop opened up so my support and my numbers are where they want to be for my book so if I get 400 supporters to want to contribute and read each chapter each time at five dollars each chapter I can see 2,000 starting out for each chapter each time and that'd just be like phenomenal help to help me get everywhere I want to get to so this route in Australia is Brisbane to Melbourne but after Melbourne I have all these plans and thanks to enough online donations on the GoFundMe site which is GoFundMe.com CRT Skates AUS because that's what I'm currently doing so uh, where I'm at with that in the whole like strategizing now is like the cash donations I'm receiving on my routes while I'm skating and showing this hard work and dedication to this craft and why I'm even able to accept these donations is like the cash is feeding me it's literally my my food money and that's my gas that's my fuel <laughs> coffee water tea food good good breaky in the morning and like I get shit going so that's my gas like it keeps me going so then the GoFundMe I'm not touching it goes into my account on my card and already thanks to my man his name is Big Tom nickname Tom Reynolds out of my hometown Damascus Maryland this man literally funded one of my whole skate trips before he's been phenomenal help and support and he says he just wants me to live my dreams to the fullest and loves that he can be a part of it 
Oh, he gave me more than enough, and now I can already buy that next plane ticket for my next move, which is Melbourne to Tasmanian Island. And then now that I am keep receiving these donations online, I'm getting really close to being able to buy the next move, which is Tasmanian Island in New Zealand. And then if things continue in this matter and I'm able to keep it all going, I have plans all the way probably up until September or October is when I would go home. So after New Zealand, it would be Bali, Indonesia, then Japan, Vietnam, Thailand, start Europe and Ireland. And then after Ireland, it'd be UK, Amsterdam, do a zigzag circle route, maybe go as far down as Greece, come back through the bottom of Europe for Italy, maybe even dip down in a whole bunch of Italy, come back up, and then end with Spain and Portugal. So this year for Skate the World, I would be ending in Portugal if it all goes as planned. And then if I time frame things right, then I would roughly be getting back home to the States uh, in September, October. And you know, that's where I'm at currently. I'm trying to skate the world, to be a part of the skate world, and just share all these good stories on my faith and how much I rely on God and Jesus to help guide me and keep me safe. Uh, I've been in three serious thunderstorms with tornado warnings where if I'm in a bad situation, I'm given a good situation to get out of those. So I just know that I'm helped guide it and kept safe and that I don't do this alone. And like, it's not my time to go, it's not my time to go. So I'm like literally saved. So I've been very, very close and I know how risky it is what I do. I'm literally on the side of the roads pushing, you know? And like 18 wheelers, they know those trucks so well, they come inches from me. But I used to look and search for my impacts and purposes in this world and through my trips and what it will all mean. But like, someone helped me find that. They were like, you're already making an impact. Stop searching for it. Every single person you meet throughout your trips, you're impacting their life. They're gonna like remember those moments forever. So like, that's an impact on their life forever, which is just great. Sometimes you learn so much about yourself through others. And then like, I just base it off of people's understanding. Like, you can only speak to someone on how much they understand. So you're gonna go into details as far as they understand and then you're gonna help guide them as much as you possibly can with your understanding. So with all that being said, it's just like, that's where I'm at, you know, like, it's a blessing to be able to do what I do in all the kind of aspects. So also, if you would like to donate to my causes to be able to skate the world, to be part of this skate world, Russo, which is filming this short movie and documentary currently, in Bondi, behind me, then you can do so. So you'll find not everything you've ever needed in those kind of aspects. So I mean, I'm just very, very appreciated for everything I ever receive. I always make thankful posts. You'll see me say CRT thanks you, and then I'll just list whatever you know you donated. It could be a water bottle. It could be food. It could be a place to stay. It could be a hot shower. It could be laundry. It could be the cash, it could be the online donation. So you are a part of my journey and then you will have your section in my shop. So I would love for you to come to my shop and because you helped me, the first piece is on me. <laughs> I don't know if everyone's gonna be able to come to the USA for my shop, but just know that you're gonna have a section in my shop and be a part of this journey and the first piece is on me. And then anyone that ever wants to, can have a pizza combination named after you. So you tell me your favorite pizza combination and I name it whatever you want. So yeah, look out for me on the road. Tomorrow, Monday, I'm gonna be on the road from Bondi to The Gong. <laughs> so look for me.